Dan, God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for today's blessings and this time with your word. Lord, we ask for patience with your word, patience with ourselves with your word, patience with others who may question our understanding of your word. Because, Lord, we need to, we need to learn to listen to each other, especially when we disagree. To be able to hear out another person's point of view, even if it doesn't agree or align with ours. Because you call us to be a church. Not everyone following necessarily the, the same idea all the time. But when we disagree, to learn from those disagreements how to draw closer to you. Lord, teach us as we follow those who are in leadership positions that while we may need at times to be critical, at the same time, Lord, we need to trust that they are in those positions for a reason. And if there is fault to find, that we be humble enough to be able to receive criticism as much as we give it. Lord, we pray for those whose focus in life is on the mundane things, the things that pass away. Lord, we pray for those who are struggling to get past past events, who are fixated on some ideal model that suited them at a certain time, but doesn't exist anymore. And so, Lord, we pray for our life in you today. That that be the real thing. That we are able to be true to you and present in our reality in the way that we live out the good news and express our faith and talk about our journey of faith with those that are nearest and dearest. Yes, Lord, those can be the, the hardest conversations because we don't want to lose these close relationships with family, with dear friends. And it's a hard thing to be challenged by those whose opinion matters so much. And when they disagree, it hurts. And it calls us to question deeply. So Lord, guide those moments in your Holy Spirit that we will be drawn away from singular and separate ideologies and, 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 and philosophies and brought into your reality to follow your will to grow in your understanding Lord this we pray in Christ Jesus name Amen and turning to God's word today we turn excuse me we turn to Philippians chapter 3 reading at verse 10 Paul writes to the Philippian church about them being able to express themselves and about remaining authentic and remaining steadfast and firm and here in chapter 3 verse 10 he says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made comfortable unto, sorry, conformable unto his death. The, the knowledge that Paul wants for himself in his ministry is not, is not just a surface knowledge. It's not memorizing the scriptures and being able to recite them, but faith as relationship faith as personal understanding and insight into what God wants and what God is doing and what God did in Jesus Christ. Even to the point of having fellowship with, with Christ's sufferings. Christ was persecuted. Christ was betrayed. Christ, Jesus was whipped and, and, and scourged and beaten all before he went to the cross. And then he died a most excruciating death upon the cross. That is Christ's physical sufferings. But Paul's not limiting to that either. The, the spiritual sufferings, the, 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 the hurt that comes with betrayal, 
the hurt that comes with knowing that the people that are nearest and dearest to you are incapable of fully appreciating all that you're going through. And, and where do you stand in a moment like that? Jesus knows what we're facing. And Paul, in his ministry, wants an intimate understanding of that suffering so he can fully appreciate what all that Christ has done. When you're looking for Christ's place in your life and in the life of people around you, and you see people going through tremendous suffering, one assurance that we always have is it is not for nothing, that sometimes it does take our deep suffering to really draw closer to Christ. It means that we have to overcome certain aspects of our reality to be in that close personal relationship. Paul says, embrace it. He's telling the church, embrace it when it happens. And, in, in, and if it doesn't, rejoice that God has, has blessed and graced you with, with a journey that, thankfully, you, you don't need that suffering, but still, that, that Jesus is close to you and will be there should suffering come. God bless and reassure and be your comfort. Amen.